you can live forever. This was great. I think that the filmmakers did such an amazing job with this on so many levels. Um, one of the first levels is the cast that they chose. The cast that they chose was amazing. Everybody was so believable and genuine and their performances were just honest. It's kind of what kept you glued to the screen. It also, they were great with their cinematography, their music. It's like they checked all the boxes. The story that they told was a really, really powerful one and it was so poignant, but what was smart was the story was relatable to everybody. I mean, you did not need to be religious or LBGT to understand what was going on in this story. And they tackled such a difficult subject too, remaining true to yourself and who you are inside. I thought it was really poignant. It was really beautiful. And they hit all of these emotional notes without going overboard. I loved this. Congratulations, you guys, it was fantastic. You can live forever. That just hurt, man. That hurt. Um, it really reminds me of Romeo and Juliet in the sense of that forbidden love. And just like Romeo and Juliet, it also ends in tragedy. Thankfully, they don't lose their lives, but still, it's just such a somber ending. Um, but it's also, you can understand it, um, because one of the things that I feel a lot of people who are part of the LGBTQ community have, especially if they come from religious families, have to deal with is this clash, um, they know that their f entire community are not going to approve of what they do or what they're going to do and it's it's just it's it's gut-wrenching it's heartbreaking seeing her try her best to make it work within the foundations of her religion um and it also, in addition to dealing with um, same-sex relationships within religion, it also deals with another aspect of, are you willing to convert to a religion because you're of your love for someone else? Um, our protagonist was not a Jehovah's Witness, and throughout the entire movie, she never, she never considers becoming a Jehovah's Witness. Um, that's not something she's interested in, and that's okay. Um, but it 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 creates that moral question of how how far are you going to go uh, for someone that you love? Uh, like, like I said. The person she was in love with was a Jehovah's Witness, and she was trying to make this relationship work through a Jehovah's Witness lens, and she couldn't leave because for her, that was all she had, and it, it makes it so heart-wrenching just the ending where you find where the parents arranged for her to get married to someone else she ends up having a child she's she's just essentially stuck in a loveless uh marriage while the love of her life leaves to pursue the life that they were supposed to have together and yeah i I've, I've been rambling for about a few minutes now but it's such a painful ending <laughs> that's the best way i could say it it hurts it hurts um but i think the fact that it hurts means that this movie did a phenomenal job of getting that message across you know you want them to succeed and the fact that it doesn't at the end it's such a 
devastating experience. Um, and kudos to everyone involved. Kudos to the actors for getting that chemistry across, the director for getting that direction across. Like, I feel this this one did a phenomenal job of just getting that vision across. And I feel like it. Uh, this film was able to get you to feel exactly what it wanted you to feel. Um, and I feel like everyone who worked on this should be proud of what they made. Such a very beautiful film. I really, really enjoyed this. Extremely well done. Um, performances by every everybody in the movie were just absolutely terrific. Everything, everybody was very real. Um, the two leads were just absolutely wonderful. Really, really, really was just rooting for them the whole time. Um, you know, it was very interesting, just very specific culture clash, uh, being, uh, being, uh, depicted here. And, um, you know, it was the intricacies and the nuance of that, uh, that society were, um, very, very well portrayed. Um, yeah, it was just, it was very, very good. Um, the writing was excellent, well directed, well edited, well acted, good score, um, yeah, it was just like there was so much conflict in the middle of it with these two young women in love in this, uh, you know, religious community where they were living. Um, you know, it was uh, it was it's quite a striking conflict. You know, it, it informed every corner of the story, um, you know, and the end really kind of left you wondering, you know, what, what's going to happen, you know, but it, uh, they, you know, they still came full circle and came back together. So you're just wondering what's going to happen at the end there. It really left you wanting more for sure which is a good thing. So, man, excellent, excellent work. I really enjoyed this. Um, and I hope it gets out there and gets seen and wins a lot of awards and things. It's a really good movie. You Can Live Forever, a really well-written story of these two young women who are from very different worlds in their love story. Very honest, uh, realistic, and a good representation, I think, of what young women in this situation would go through. The two leading actresses were terrific, and I was especially impressed by Marika's character, who knows herself. She knows herself so well, she knows it well before Jamie realizes. And the actress who played Marika, her expression and her demeanor of that person was very genuine. Um, the indoctrination of the religion is so embedded. It's amazing how um, young people will give up their happiness and identity because they just don't believe they can live in the other way in order to be in the afterlife with their own family. It's a really serious subject, and I thought it was handled really well in this story. This had the inside look at Jehovah's Witnesses that I think not all of us needed, but we didn't really understand. Because I know the one part this film was missing was when they were going door to door, is the people hiding behind their couches to avoid them, or the people who argue that they already know Jesus. Um... Other than that, I kind of show what a lot of people think is kind of true, that they're kind of cult-like. They, um, I didn't realize you could be disfellowshipped for, and kicked out of your families completely, and, like, you're dead if you don't even, if you leave the that church. It's bizarre, at least when a lot of people leave their churches, their families still talk to them. If they believe in other faiths within Christianity, their family still talk to them. I didn't realize Jehovah's were so radical in that. This was really a heartbreaking story. And it will show that what somebody will do with faith. I mean, Mariska does have a baby now that's that I'm sure she loves a lot, but it's probably not the way she would have wanted him. They, uh, had to do this, though, where it shows two sides where one can escape and live her own life and the other can't because she's more afraid of what her family might say. She doesn't want to be disowned. This was really heartbreaking. I 
really enjoyed the character building within You Can Live Forever. I think the actors did an amazing job of embodying their characters and making them really real, believable, and likable. Um, I thought that thematically a lot of really interesting ideas were really sensitively explored by the storyline and through the dialogue. Um, which I think made it really easy to empathize with both characters um, and, and their dilemmas. And I, and I think it handled it really, um, really nicely. This film is called You Can Live Forever. This was a beautiful LGBTQ plus feature from Quebec. I love the writing, which recounts the story of two women who have fallen in love, one being deeply immersed in the Jehovah Witness faith. The performances of all the cast members were excellent and believable. In particular, the two leads were awesome. You could really sense their attraction for one another, especially with their longing looks and passionate lovemaking. Excellent settings in the film, such as the authentic Quebec railway station, the church services setting, and the wonderful outdoor drone shots by the water. There were also many good musical pieces in the film. The pace and direction were just fantastic, as the story unfolded in a quiet, believable way. This is an important film in that it shows the dangers of people who are intolerant of others. But I also love the message of the film that love will find a way against all odds. Great job.